Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you a porch refresh uh, that involves a little painting project uh, and I hope you enjoy. So my initial plan for this porch was to stencil the entire thing, but uh, I quickly decided against that. Um, I'll go more into that later, but we just decided to paint it. But we started with a fast prep from Valspar. We picked this up from Lowe's, uh, put that on and um, followed the instructions on the bottle. And um, we had pressure washed it before this step also. We just want to make sure we had a really nice clean base to start with before we start painting. So after a couple of days of the uh, porch drying, I put a prep on the porch. I taped off around the post um, and prepped it really well. And then I came back in with a roller and rolled the porch um, with the prep. I just wanted to make sure that this step was really done because if it wasn't pressure washed correctly or enough you know, prep applied, my paint would peel up and it would kind of be pointless at that point to do that. Uh, like I said, my initial plan was to stencil the porch, but after thinking on that, it was just going to be too busy. This is a very big porch and it does have a rug up under it um, normally when there's furniture and stuff on it. I used this Valspar uh, concrete paint. I got it in gray and uh, it is available at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I did get mine at Lowe's. Um, I put it in a, a paint tray with a disposable liner. It just makes it easier for cleanup. I just like to take that liner out and throw it in the trash can. But uh, it did get two coats. Um, this is not a fast process. This whole project is not just a day process. Um, I'm sure others have done it that way, but I chose to take my time and let it all dry and everything and do it the right way. So that's why it did take me several days. So here it is completely painted. This is um, the first coat on and I still have to put another coat on, but I am extremely happy with it so far at this point. This is just a short clip of me stenciling the porch and it was very time consuming, but this is uh, something that I did decide not to do. And I am so happy that I did. The porch looks much better and it has a cleaner look to it. Okay, so it is time to put all the furniture back up on the porch. The step that I did not show you is I sealed the porch with a, a sealant um, just to protect it for years to come. That was a lot of hard work painting the porch. And I wanted to make sure that it was protected. So I put a sealant coat on top of it. Also, my patio furniture had been pressure washed before it went into storage, before this project started, so it just needed to wipe down nothing major. Um, so I had pressure washed the cushions and all the furniture. Uh, it is a covered porch, uh, and it doesn't get rain on it, but it does get, you know, dusty and stuff like that. But for the most part, it just needed to wipe down after coming out of storage. So I had went and bought um, some new pillows and candles and things like that, and I was very excited to get all that back out here. But first I had to wipe down the TV. Uh, it had been in the house, but uh, it was kind of dusty. So we do have a TV out here with a, a fire stick on it. We watch TV out here. We hang out. We have a black stone on one end of the porch, um, and then we have a lower porch on the bottom, um, or I call the patio. Uh, and that's going to have to be the next one to be done because doing painting the top porch has just made the bottom patio stand out. So uh, that is next on the list of things to do on, while I'm off for the summer. So I went to Home Goods. Actually, my daughter went to Home Goods and got me these gorgeous outdoor pillows, and I love them. So um, I was kind of excited to put all them back out and get all the new decor items I'd gotten. I got some new candles. I also got some new plants and um, a plate thing for the coffee table there. The table normally goes in front of the sofa, but um, the table that we had the TV on 
we decided not to put that back on the porch. It was just really big and bulky. And uh, Gary is going to build me a new outdoor table. So in the meanwhile, we just moved the coffee table or the dining table over and put the TV on top of it. So I decided that I needed to um, remove my wind chime to another location. The wind chime that was up was broken, so I took it down and put up my newer wind chime in a better location. Then I had made this um, pennant flag um, for some occasion, and I had it hanging in my bathroom. So I thought it would look cute having it out here. It's kind of bright colors, and it's very fun looking. So I hung that up on the porch. Um, we have uh, Edison lights out here. We have two strands of them that go around the porch or across the porch, and we have a ceiling fan also. But as I had pressure washed the whole porch before, I didn't like individually clean each light, you know, and it was kind of dusty. So I decided to come through and dust all the lines and each light bulb uh, that was on the porch and that made a ton of difference and it made it much brighter out there uh, and cleaner looking that way you weren't you know just seeing the dusty wires also I decided to give the fan a good wipe down while I was up there because it was dusty um, so it was just nice to kind of refresh everything and get it nice and ready for us to go back out there and enjoy it Okay guys, that is about it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it has given you some inspiration to uh, clean up your space and refresh it and get it ready to enjoy. We still have some nice cooler days coming up in the fall so it'll be a nice place to come hang out. Also I have a fountain um, project coming up soon so stay tuned for that.